you to understand this concept. Mux can be used as universal logic. It's a beautiful concept. You can realize any kind of combinational logic using multiplexer. So similar to universal gates, NAND and NOR, MUX can also be used to realize any kind of Boolean function. So it's considered as universal logic block. Why we really need to understand this concept? How we can use multiplexer as universal logic? Why this is really needed? Fundamentally, if you look at, there are two kinds of chips, ASIC and FPGA. This is what we discussed during the introduction class, VLSA introduction. ASIC means application specific integrated circuit and FPGA means field programmable gate arrays. When it comes to ASIC, what we do, we define truth table from the spec and then we realize the logic function. Then finally, uh, the implementation goes through front end and uh, back end flow. And then whatever the routed netlist we generate from the back end flow, it goes to foundry and then foundry fabricates the chip. That's how you get ASIC. But when it comes to FPGA, now we are talking about FPGA. You have the chip, ready-made chip up front. And this chip has the necessary components. That's why it's called field programmable gate arrays. It is going to have only multiplexers and some kind of uh, sequential devices like flip-flops. Now let's look at only the multiplexer. Now what it says is you can realize any kind of combinational logic through multiplexer. How? Look at this example here. What is the logic function y equal to a and b or c? And this is how you are going to connect all the inputs and outputs and you are going to realize the same logic function. This is what we are going to discuss now. Now if you ask me this question why we need to understand this concept, this is how FPGA works. So in FPGA, you will have a lot of multiplexers and anytime when you realize logic function, then you really need to know how to map this logic function onto the existing multiplexers. If the functions are in canonical form, then straight away you can use two table. If the function is not going to be in canonical form, then you have to use Shannon's expression. This we will look at later. Remember this. Okay. Now, Let's look at how to realize NOT gate through MUX. Here, input is A and the output is Y. If input is zero, output will be one. If input is one, output will be zero. Now, I'm going to map this input signal with select signal. And I'm going to get this output like this. Look at this. I connect A with select line. If select is going to be zero, then what I should get? One. So I'm going to connect BCC with this input. Look at this. I'm going to connect BCC with this input. If the select is going to be one, then I have to connect ground with this. So I'm going to supply the values directly like this. One, zero. One is nothing but BCC. Zero is nothing but ground. You tie this input with VCC. You tie this input with ground. And this is how this multiplexer is going to work like inverter. And this is how you would be realizing inverter using FPGA. Right. Now let's look at how to realize this AND gate. There are four possible values. And you know the truth table. Take a look. Here, if I give you four to one mux, it's going to be straightforward. You connect these two inputs directly with select line. And then you have to tie the inputs with a particular value based on the output. So here it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 1. Look at this. Inputs are going to be like 0, 0. You should get 0 at the output. So you are tying ground with I0, I1, I2. And you are going to connect VCC directly with I3. This is how 4 to 1 MUX is going to work like AND gate. But if I want you to realize this with only 2 to 1 multiplexer, how to do this? Here you have only one select line. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to map this input A with select line, okay? And I'm going to analyze the pattern. If the select is going to be zero, what happens to this? Look at this. 
the output will always be zero. Look at this, the output will always be zero irrespective of B value. So straight away, I'm going to connect ground with I zero like this. If the select is going to be one, the output is always going to be same as B. Here zero, I get zero. Here one, I get one. So you have to analyze this pattern like this. So I1 is nothing but B. So I'm going to connect B here. This is how you can realize AND gate using two to one multiplexer. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.